sing of him who died for thee and hail him as thy matchless king through all eternity why did jesus have to die I think this year, many people feel as though they've really been through something. Some of us have lost loved ones. Others have experienced illness or depression and sadness. Others are just searching for answers. Like, why did the coronavirus have to happen? And why do any bad things happen? We may never know all of the answers to life. But we should and can ask God. This all leads us to one main question that I'm going to ask today. Why did Jesus have to die? Now I know that death can make us feel sad and even worried sometimes. But I want to let you know right from the beginning. Flash forward to Easter, Jesus' death does not end sad. It has a very happy ending, in fact. He breaks death. He comes back to life and makes it possible for us to spend eternity with him. But if this is the case, then again, why did Jesus have to die? So I have an illustration for you that might help you to understand this. Now here is Jesus. He is pure and blameless and holy. And here is you, the way that God intended you, pure and blameless and holy. Now, Jesus came to take the punishment for any sin that you would ever or might ever do. Here's sin. So here we are. <clears throat> but we all have days where we have a bad attitude and we're, we might be mean to somebody. Maybe we lied to a friend. Maybe we cheated on a test. Maybe we hurt someone or ourselves. Whatever it is, it is not what God intended for you. This is not what God intended for you. God saw this happening and he said, this is not how I intended it. And he had a solution already in mind for how to make this right. Luke 18, 27 says, what is impossible with man is possible with God. God had a perfect rescue plan and it was Jesus. So Jesus came and he lived a perfect life without sin. So what would happen if Jesus took on the sin of the world and put it in himself? Jesus erases our sins. He took our sins to the grave and he left it there. He is still pure and holy and now he's also erased all of our sins. He left it in the grave and he came back with new life and he offered it to all of us. He was still perfect and pure and blameless. And so you have the ability, you have the opportunity to say yes to Jesus, to say, we don't need sin anymore. Sin has been defeated by the power of Jesus' death and resurrection. So when you say yes to Jesus and ask him to fill you with his power, it changes everything. Only Jesus can remove that sin from your life. He is the one that died and rose.
lose again, to defeat the power of sin and bring us true freedom. And that's why Jesus had to die. He loves us. It's a love story. He was not going to leave us stuck in this situation. He gave us a way out. Romans 6.23 says, The payment for sin is death. But God gave us the free gift of life forever in our Lord Jesus Christ. If you feel an urge to accept this gift that Jesus offers to us, please pray with me now and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. I know that I have sinned. I believe that you died on the cross to take my punishment for sin. Please forgive me and make my heart clean. Please come into my life and make me yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.